Yeah, um, the intensity got to go up at some point. You know, you got to kind of get a feel for um, just contact, you know, just getting a feel back into playing real football. You know, we're not out here trying to kill each other or um, going too hard, you know, but at the same time, we got to get work. You know, some guys might go a little harder than some others then. You got to bring it, you know, but we need that, you know, because that's the feeling you're going to get when it's time to go and prepare for games. You mentioned uh, guys need to step up. Obviously, one of the guys everybody's keeping their eye on is Brandon Burke. What have you seen from him so far? Uh, just, just his confidence is building up. You know, now that he's getting reps with the ones. You know, he was always getting re re reps with the ones, but uh, we'll hop down. You know, he's feeling like he's a starter right now, which he is. You know, because we don't got hop at the moment, so uh, he just got to do a good job of just knowing the details. You know, I think he's a heck of a player. You know, he goes out there. He's a big body. He can muscle his way through defenders. You know, he just got to uh, lock in on the little details in the offense. You know, because the little things is going to get you open. You know, you, you might not have to do too much. Uh, to, to get open in this uh, offense, you just got to know specifically where to be when when you got to be there. How do you like the way Brian Callahan is going about installing this offense? Uh, I think he's going about it uh, the right way, you know, because this is like my sixth, seventh year going through this install, you know, so I kind of know what's going to come next, you know, what the installs look like and how uh, they're going to go going forward, you know, but we're kind of done installing. And uh, we're just getting into just call it plays, just, just just line up and playing football, you know. So guys kind of got to study a little bit more and just just getting into live reps and just getting out there, cutting it, cutting away, and just just making plays, man. Just do 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 what you're supposed to do and just have fun doing it. Tight Levis, they they both you know said that you're a guy that, that has helped teach them. Like, is that something that you took personally to do, or it just came come naturally? How did that process go? Yeah, um, I just think it's it's natural, you know, because again, I mean, I've been a part of this offense and I know what Kylie's looking for when he calls certain plays, you know, and when I come back and I ask him, uh, why did you get off this or why did you do that? You know, I'm just trying to figure out his process of thinking, you know, because of on, by the play, you know, I know I, I, nine times out of ten based on the defense and how the plays is rolling and what we're calling, I, I kind of know already where the where the ball should be going, you know, by coverage. That's just how much I've been in this offense, you know, and I think he's just got to get it. I think Will have been doing a pretty great job, you know, it's just that certain plays, it's just, just the timing. You know, just getting out, getting out, make sure you don't miss that window to get it. You know, but I'm always going to criticize little things, and they're going to do the same for me, you know, because at the end of the day, I'm still trying to get better, and there's things I need to work on too, but I'm just trying to figure out what he's expecting so I know and all of us know where to be when, when he wants us to be there. Is the ramp up period any different for you? One more time? Is the kind of the ramp up for the season any different for you here than it was in Cincy as far as how much you're practicing, oh, what you do conditioning wise, uh, strength wise? Anything to get you ready? Um, I've been, been kind of kind of the same thing, you know. Um, I don't really see too many differences within the, the two uh, camps I had from last year. This year, I've been pretty ran the same kind of way, you know. So I'm kind of uh, knowing what's what's kind of coming. Is there any difference? Is there any difference in head coach Brian Callahan versus offensive coordinator Brian Callahan and the way they approach things? Not really, you know, that's a quick, because I've been around Cali for quite some years. You know, he always been the same guy. You know, some moments where he got he got to bark a little bit. You know, he got he got to get his message across, and guys gonna understand it. You know, but at the same time, he want guys to understand where he's coming from. He want guys to kind of gravitate to him, ask him what, 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 if if he did if they did something wrong, and not just wait and just miss a rev or you do something wrong and wait for him to critique you. You know, he's the kind of guy that's easily accessible to talk to. You know, he's very uh, complimentable and. He, he, he'll never steal you wrong. You know, it's kind of like a player's coach deal. You know, he, he just makes players just want to approach him and, and communicate and just, just figure out better however they need to get over. Back in good days, I'm, I'm uh, proud of the way that the team's working, even out here with some couple padded, hot days back to back. You guys are doing well. Um, you know, I think everyone's um, just getting used to, we're getting more used to just the new concepts that, that Brian's put in. That's uh, each, each every day, guys are just, um, you know, the more the more reps you add, you know, first time offense. I think you know, Will, uh, we're all starting to feel more comfortable. Is this an offense that is made for quarterbacks? It, feel, it kind of feels that way. It does. I mean, I, I um, you know, with Coach Callie's experience with pulling things, I, you know, from what he said, from you know Peyton in Denver and Matt Stafford in Detroit, and then you know obviously Zach Taylor and Cincy. It's a it's a great concoction of um, you know concepts and quarterback friendly concepts and um, plays that get the ball in your hands quickly and get on the field and do it all and, and but it all starts with you know protection and the guys have been doing a great job up front where have you seen the dividends of that quarterback experience 
days off and how that's kind of played itself out in practice. Yeah, I just think um, he, he's got a good, uh, even keel demeanor about himself. I've been around coaches on offense who, you know, they, they're uh, screamers or they're, you know, they get, they get too high sometimes or too low. I think we all feed off that just uh, consistent energy from him and, and um, he's just a good teacher in the, in, in the, in the meeting room with the offense installing. Uh, he's got a good presence out here, so I think uh, everyone's sort of gelling uh, in the right direction. You've had a chance, I guess, to work with these receivers a couple of months now. What do you think about the group? How do you feel like you are from a time of the guys? Yeah, um, you know, uh, Calvin's been incredible. You know, he's, uh, I mean, just the way he gets in and out of breaks and um, accelerates, he's got a different gear. Obviously, you know, Hop, uh, Hop went down, but he was doing well. He's a consistent, you know, veteran voice. He's seen it all. He's done it all. He's, he's um He's, he's, he's been a leader for the room. And then, you know, guys across the board, you know, like Nick, uh, Mason Kinsey, Traylon Burks is doing well, um, you know, Jaquan Jackson, uh, Kyle Phillips, a bunch of, you know, great playmakers. They've made plays all through camp thus far, and I think we're going to see that continue into the preseason. You seem to throw to Kinsey a lot during some of these team periods. Like, you guys have a, a really good connection. Do you think that rings true for you, and what makes your connection with him really strong? Um, I think he's just got a great name. <laughs> so I gotta gotta give him the ball as much as I can, but um, he he has done well. You, you're right. I think uh, it just happens that way sometimes that you you kind of get into a groove with somebody. But I, mean, I think feel feel like I'm in a groove with a lot of people. I think um, you know Nick, Kyle, Traylon, um, you know Chig. Uh, those are all you know friendly fr- friendly targets on third down and and, and uh, you know base downs as well. So a good group. You came from Pittsburgh where Mike Tomlin had been entrenched there forever. Yeah. Come here and it's a brand new coaching staff, first time head coach. Yeah. What has that been like kind of just seeing how Brian operates yeah. as a head coach for the first time? Yeah, it's been good. It's 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 different, but, um, you know, you got to start somewhere. And he, he's starting with, with um, on, on a great foot. I think he's, he's set a you know, great example, a good precedent for the guys. Um, he, he's – not a stickler on rules, which I like. I think if you worry too much about rules, then you, you don't get a lot of things done. And that, Mike Tomlin actually used to say the same thing. So, um, but he, he, he's, uh, we, you know, he's he set the standard for what for what we need to be on offense, you know, and, and what we need to be as a team. So we're all, uh, I think, I think we're enjoying him. I, I speak for myself. I say stick. Yeah, it's just uh, confidence boiling over from the end of last year, and just you know, just working on it. You know, just repping it every day on the jug machine, doing you know extra catching and stuff like that, just to make sure you know got my confidence there. Because that's all, that's really all it is at the end of the day, is just being confident and catching the ball. And how do you feel this offense? You're looking at pass like other Cincinnati offenses didn't exactly feature the tight end as much, but you know, how do you feel this offense? Is how friendly is it for the tight end? Hey man, I think it's really friendly. We've been catching a lot of balls at every set, every day of camp. I feel like every we always feel like we come out with a lot of catches on the day. So it's got a lot of you know features for the tight end, a lot of different ways to get us in space and open. Yeah. With, with Will, like how have you found the best way to communicate? Man, like I'm open, come my way, like uh, in between plays and stuff. Uh, you just let him know, like, hey, I, I won there. I got, a, I think I got a good matchup here, and he's and he loves giving guys chances, so he's gonna he's definitely gonna give you a chance if he sees it. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, it's a story. I feel like every training camp, you know, guys go down. It's next man up mentality, um, and guys got to take advantage of those opportunities that they're gonna get now. One of those guys, obviously, Traylon Burks. How, what did you see from him so far? Yeah, he's looked great. Um, obviously, I saw the work he's been putting in the off season. I think it's paid off. Um, I feel like time too, some experience. Uh, he's just, I feel like it's starting to kind of click in his head a little bit. And uh, he's out there making plays, so it's awesome to watch. I love, love watching Traylon play because he's guys, a freak athlete. I'm sorry, you guys kind of take it as a challenge, you know, when, when, when your guys are down, that you guys can, like I said, just kind of keep everything on schedule. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there, the standard doesn't change regardless of who's in there. Um, we still have the same standard as an offense, especially as a receiver room uh, of how we're going to play. Uh, so we try to live up to that. You've been asked to brag on you. Head coach was bragging on just about your consistency, just how well you, how you know where to be. What was the process like for you when new coaching staff come in, learning some new things, and how you feel you are? Right yeah, I feel feel like I'm in a good spot. Uh, feeling confident, you know, obviously learning the offense. Um, there's some similarity, and I feel like you know that's just, you know, I've been around for a little bit now, so it, it, I know kind of what what NFL offenses look like, what, what a lot of these concepts are. They might have different names. Um, but yeah, just trying to be consistent. I feel like that's what you know. Try to hang my hat on since I've been here. Um, 
when I first got here in 2020 is just find a way to add value. And I think the best way to do that for me right now is just be a consistent uh, player, uh, special teams and offense.